dungeons. A most familiar setting for the earnest adventurer. A most familiar setting for the earnest adventurer. Dark and musty halls, teeming with foul creatures, forgotten treasures, and copious amounts of experience points. Entombed in this particular cavernous hallway is an artifact of profound significance. A gemstone like no other. In pursuit of this artifact, three stoic adventurers delve into the darkness, eager to plumb its depths, unwitting to what lies in wait. You learn the basics of combat in this dungeon. To move, press and hold left mouse button, alternatively press A and D. And also, hello everybody, it's me again. I'm not dead. On the outside, at least. This is a new game called Goblin Stone that I've been pretty excited to play, so let's play it. Ah, the common goblin. Widely regarded as a hideous and feeble minion. This is a roguelike game, which is up my alley. to avoid the feature of its experience points. Talk. They are so good. Uh, combat is turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack to kill all foes to win the battle. Easy. Everyone will move to the center along this time bar. When my character reaches the middle, their turn starts. Okay, it's my turn to select an attack, which I can only select that one. And hits him for six damage, and then this guy goes back to his new position. This guy can knock back all foes. Which would be useful if this attack would just kill him anyway. Yeah! So I'm pretty Hello sure each back. character you have. An honest reward for dispatching the squalid creature. Most foes drop by alive when killed. Choose it carefully. You only have limited back space. And we got six slots. That's enough room for some junk. Eager spoils. Perhaps the next yield will be a bit more substantial. Anyway, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure each character has its own deck of attacks based on what they are and what weapon they have. Oh, it's just, oh okay. Big noise. Just the dungeon crawler. More goblins. It appears that ill fortune has beset these hapless few. Their companion lies crushed beneath the rubble. Sucks. Let's kill the rest of them. They attack the goblins and destroy them. Next indicator shows you his turn's coming up next. Fantastic. Ooh, we're just gonna go for an all out attack. Six damage. And then. Actually, let's go ahead and knock him back. That'd be kind of funny to do. Tired now. Okay, characters in that area are tired. Find that problem. Are you me? This guy's gonna get an attack off. But so will I. Taking the brunt of the damage in this fight. I mean, aside from the goblins, which are dying. I guess they are taking the brunt of the damage. It's more junk. Such a dismal bounty. One must slay great quantities of goblins for a decent record. Going down. 
to the ruins. Oh, yeah, that's what we need is a treasure chest. They chance upon greedy little burglars. Treasure rightfully theirs, being plundered in front of their very eyes. That was some face. Quickly, they interrupt and lay claim to the treasure. These two didn't join for some reason. Scared, perhaps. I'm gonna knock them all back. I'm gonna give this guy a lightning bolt. I'm gonna stab this one. Take all hits, but he has armor. So yeah, it kind of just absorbs them for the most part. One. Two. soon realize they have no chance at survival. In desperation, they hurl their loot at the assailants. Without tally, the goblins withdraw into the sanctuary of darkness. How strange. These creatures were fully expected to die. Perhaps their journey will be worth following. Now we're the goblins! But you didn't expect that. Two little goblins. One despondent. One morose. And both with the shivers. Dibs on morose. Ooh, a spider. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Not very sneaky. A spider. The occasional snap of a hungry goblin. <coughs> At oh, this we have... size, however, the roles are reversed. Real names. Black Zinger and Myers. Meyer Lasher. Well, we can just... Do an all-out attack. Not much point in not. Actually, we can stun him. That way he will not get an attack again. We can punch him the rest of the way to death. Take that, cage spider. Hope emerges as the goblins dispatch the threat. Oh, heck yeah. 30 gold. Spider was loaded. We can climb. Well, it looks like that's the only thing we can do. There, a light, finally. A path out of this abyss. Mm hmm. Follow that light to freedom. Except there's a skull in front of us on the map, so I assume there's one more fight. Shiny thing in the rocks. Gotcha. A familiar feeling beckons to them. A glint oh. beneath the rubble. Yes, a reiteration of the shiny thing you showed me. Believe me, I was on my way. Oh, crap. Oh, we were surprised. Yep. When characters are surprised in battle, they start further back on the time bar. This allows their foes an advantage, which sucks for us. Especially Laxinger. He's taking both of these hits. Meyer Lasher's just sitting pretty back there doing nada. I think the best course of action would be to punch this guy. And one might even throw a rock at him. 
not get stunned, which sucks. Prudence dictates caution. Yeah, I would say so. That Laxinger is going to die if we're not careful. What we really need is a stun here. There you go. You're stunned. And a punch. Oh, I thought you were gonna go to the back of the line. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Black Zinger. I'm so sorry. But you can do it, you can finish it. Crippling strike. Yes. They survived the ambush. Barely. We almost lacked Laxinger. Oh, the Goblin Stone. We're done. Game over. As curiosity surpasses reason, they unearth a strange object. It indeed appears to be the artifact the adventurers so fervently coveted. As the stone awakens from its slumber, it radiates a light both beautiful and blinding. Strange spirits emanate from the stone. They swirl and undulate in jubilation. As the awestruck goblins peer into the brightness, the spirits speak out. They bid the goblins to seek a sacred place deep within the woods, and there rest the stone. Faced with such a spectacle, the goblins muster what they can to break their stupor. They pocket the stone and head for the surface. Okay. So we got our goblin stone now. Assumedly our ancestral rite, perhaps. Coming into the light, they are greeted by spring winds and the echo of new leaves stirring in the breeze. The mysterious stone told of a ruin in these woods. Goblins have been charged to seek it out and place the stone inside. Oh, can I get a little quest book? Perhaps. Yes, leave the woods, find the ancient ruins, rest the stone. Look at all these rewards I could get. Oh, resources. Sort of maybe some building aspects to this game. A place of tranquility and rest. Uh, heal 20% of lost health. Each party member's combat speed is increased by five. We need that health. Even if rest one of us is full health, you know, you backs. gotta help out your teammate when they're down to one. Oh, nice. Nice little map. I like our little um, icon there. This is the quest we're on. We're going. Oh, here you can view each goblin stats, abilities, and manager equipment. You can also reorder their combat positions to suit your strategy. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I think... Oh, does he have 26 health? Back like he's full. Look, I'm just gonna switch you. You had a rough time. Meyer Lasher can take take the lead for now. Oh, he walks so cute. Little orange goblin walk. On to the next quest. Let's see what's in store for us here. Abilities can complement each other. Raiders wakey wakey hits harder on foes than the sun guard. Abilities can oh, good. whoa! Constructing a second or third warren lets you breed multiple times daily. Hmm.
hear a lot of footsteps, but not much is visually going on here. I might take a break from the recording. Maybe OBS is messing it up. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to restart the game, but I thought I'd show you the title screen. Isn't that so beautiful? Um, it just would never load. So we're just gonna try to continue and Let hope that we didn't miss anything tale. too important. Progress auto saves constantly. All actions and choices are permanent. Oh, okay, here we are. With Meyer Lasher and Laxinger again. Which that's good. He's kind of a wait. wait. Oh wait, what the heck? Milk Carter and High Border? Where'd they come from? Wait, wait, jump. Open. The way is shot. Okay, fair enough. I probably should have gone to check that chest before I did that anyway. I don't know where these guys came from, but the more the merrier. We got a couple weapons. Chiseled stick. 8 power, 80 to 100% damage, I assume. With a 20% chance to bleed. That's nice. Your raider can use this weapon. Click it to equip. No, oh, I didn't mean to just grab that. Whatever. Yes, let me out. Oh, these guys are raiders. Well, I don't know where you came from, but you can certainly have a stick. Um, I want to give the other one, please. You can have a rock on a stick. I just want to see if we can go back to our camp, though, because maybe... I don't know. Oh. This is some sort of glitch, I feel like. A bittersweet reunion, as they discover their camp had been further ravaged by adventurers. The goblin lies buried breathing. Their dungeon loot was never treasure, but medicines direly needed for their wounded. With their loot now lost, they wallow in despair. A queer sensation interrupts the morose scene. As the stone artifact acts on its own accord, the group beholds the spectacle agape with wonder. The languishing goblin is bathed in a warm glow. Its wounds slowly mend as it returns to health. As the light subsides, bewilderment gradually gives way to joy. Reunited, they now set out for the forest's edge. So maybe that was, oh gosh, I, th <laughs> I think I glitched myself into having more goblins than I should. But you know what, we'll take it. So we have a lot of dudes now. Uh, who joined? Pawn Batter is new, and Flossapper is new. Well, I gave these guys weapons, so maybe they should be at the front. Laxinger. We should take up, take up the middle, we'll put the... You know what? We'll take a glitch into six. So can we open this now? Or is this like an actual thing? The way is shot. Yeah, okay. I guess we're not supposed to know that's not yet. I bet I was only supposed to have four goblins at this point, but... Oh. Uh, that 
that's not good. Well, let's, uh, let's try this, huh? Let us resume our tale. Alright. Hopefully we don't have any more. They chance upon a carcass oh. concealed by the stench. A small trove of unclaimed meat and giblets. Oh, gross. Got some leather and bones. Scavenge to the bone, leaving nothing to waste. Okay. The big chest. Gotcha, the key Among probably the to that door. A lone iron key. What might it unlock? So let's head back and open the door. I just tripped and fell. That was funny. The iron key unlocks the gateway. The path forward becomes clear. Okay. Oh, a wolf. Could be surprising because we were behind it. Wolves, such dreadful beasts. They don't seem They're filthy to be more salivate for goblin flesh. Oh, you can redraw a new set of abilities. Interesting. Okay, so we have slash. Which came with this weapon. Chance to bleed. Wakey, wakey. First or second float. If they're stunned, freeze or slowed at a finale for 70%. Interesting. And then pick wounds. Strong has bleed or poison at another bleed. Okay. Well, for now, I guess it's not stunned. We'll just go for a slash on the first one. Okay. Let's see that tumbling around. Okay, so slipping dagger inflicts bleed. Chop is nine to eleven damage, and he also has wakey wakey. Um, so I feel like yeah, let's go ahead and inflict bleed on him. Just see how that goes. Maybe stun on the other one. There we go. Then just give this guy a good old punch. Show him his boss a little bit. He cannot do wakey wakey. Oh, because he doesn't have a weapon. Okay. Just a punch on him. And we'll do another punch on this guy. He's still bleeding, so... Oh, it's exterminate. If the target dies, this ability only costs one. This only does 10 damage. But it says 130 damage, so maybe? Nope, just 10. And he is... Oh no, he died! From bleed, so it doesn't count. Okay, well he's gonna be out of the game for a while. I'm trying to get another stun on this one. Resisted the stun, that's unfortunate. But we do get two attacks before he gets an attack, so I think we should be good. I'm just gonna keep punching, because that's all we can do. Smack. Smack that wolf. Get out of here. Okay. A goblin's world is full of peril, and there are many who hunt them. Oh, 100 gold. Some berries. We could uh, perhaps use those. The heal for ten percent life. 
I mean, you might as well be at max health, you know? through to the edge of the woods. At last they find a pathway out and venture into the open world. Man, a lot more faith in that bridge than I did. Just exiting. Oh, okay. We left the woods. We did that. Now we're gonna find the ancient ruins. Ooh, a, what? Souls? Should I have been looking for? Exactly. Maybe that'll come into effect later in the game. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. I am going to call that a recording and uh, we'll come back to it. <laughs> we'll come back to it later. I'm hoping that we don't encounter any more glitches, but I'm going to stop this recording here, start a new one, and continue. So I'll see you whenever you see me. Bye. I'm immediately back for me. I'm gonna go to the ancient ruins next. We know there's young holes, we know there's cave spiders, we know there's leather, bone, ore, stone, fiber, and wood. Gotta get your fiber. I am happy with our current standings. Oh, whoa. Climbed a whole mountain just to get to the next level. Hopefully, we don't get any weird loading glitches like we did last time. Seems like we might not. Okay, we're good. We're good, we made it. Always go left before you go right. They enter a deeper part of the woods. The scent of danger lingers heavy. Didn't our goal is like leave the woods? How are we entering a deeper part of it? Ahead, an adventurer rests. Oh. Quietly, they sneak. Do I sneak? Oh, okay. <laughs> we do. Sneak. Oh. He saw us. Caught off guard. Braces for battle. All right. Let's. A chance to bleed him, maybe. Oh, we got it. This is a stunned frozen or whatever, so that's 9 to 11. We have a chance to just get him. Oh, oh, never mind. Either way, he's going way last, so. One smack from Laxinger. To be felled by the goblins he hunts. Quarry watches you from behind iron bars. Medium adventure stuffs. Okay. Oh. Oh. He uses a wooden stool. Okay. And he has armor. So. Let's maybe trade you out for pawn batter? Yeah. We proceed to the lair, wherever that is. Hey, okay, bye, Pond Batter. Good luck finding the lair, Another wherever that one is. Joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. You joining our company or what? Yeah, whatever. Well, I assume you'll be with us on the next screen, sir.
path will often split into two, each offering its own allure and possibilities. Both will eventually lead you to your goal. Once you've chosen a path, you will no longer be able to tread the other. Interesting. It says he's in our group, but he's visually not with our group. We've got harvest. We've got treasure. I'm a little greedy for treasure. Let's go treasure. Okay, so that wasn't the treasure. Let's go this way. Once you commit to a path, you can no longer return to the previous room. We got some gold. Some gold and some foodstuffs. And we're going on to a harvest anyway, so we got the best of both worlds. Leather and bone. Nature's bounty picked clean. This little red bird is leading us somewhere, perhaps. There was once a time when goblins were plentiful in these woods. These few, the last of the green goblins, are oh, all that pickaxes. remain. Or some stone? Nothing must be wasted. Right. Oh, it's a big boy over there. They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his mourning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods. Barely noticing their presence, the orc wipes <coughs> away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Politely thanking the grieving orc, the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we'll see more of that story unfold as well. We got a place of respite for the weary. Uh, we haven't really been hurt. We don't discuss tactics. They settle in, weary of the road. Get some extra combat speed and see how that affects things. Uh, let's keep being greedy. Let's just go for treasure. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Treasure above all. Oh, yeah. A fight up ahead. Okay. So that was trying to be sneaky. Didn't work out. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go for... Got it. Hmm. Okay, I reloaded the fight. Hopefully it's all going great now. It's a fairly new game, so I expect there to be some difficulties. Well, we get some armor-based attacks now. Intercept the first or second foe's attack, gain one armor. Or just gain two armor. Uh, let's we'll go for a bash for now. Just to do some damage. Uh, 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 chop away at you. 
And then I really would like to get a stun so he doesn't hurt any of our you know, our little little guys. Um Can you get can you extend a stun? Oh you can get double stunned. Interesting. We've got piglins. Just go for a smack. One down. progression. And then our guy with armor is up front. Oh, he has little armor gained. And heal three. Okay, that's interesting. Incentivizes armoring up a little bit. So let's go for this and maybe didn't get the stun there. That's okay. Our other raider without a weapon. Go for a smack. And then let's just see what Wakey Wakey looks like since this will be the end anyway. Okay, so I got two hitter. We did it. Okay. Moving on. Just beyond an old forgotten watchtower, held fast by a great forest tree. No, no, tripped and fell. Come back up here. Oh. They didn't sneak us that Humans time. Humans have taken the way. The road ahead will not be easy. Foes with armor are harder to beat since it reduces the amount of damage they take from attacks. Some special effects like bleed will ignore armor. Okay. So... I'm gonna want to bleed you. Hopefully this <clears throat> does it. It didn't do it. <clears throat> well, that broke his armor though, so that was nice. Um, stun ya? <clears throat> stun you? We'll just punch him. Oh, and he's not stunned anymore. I was really hoping that would last for the wakey wakey to take effect. Um, just attack you. Got your armor. Which is good, except you're stunned now, so that sucks. <clears throat> he is tired, so that was a good hit. Let's go ahead and get a head under. Oh man, Nicely yeah. Done. Glad I did that. Let's try to stun you again. <clears throat> Perfect. We'll go for a double stun. <clears throat> nope, but we got a hit. So this bash should be enough to do you in. There we go. They had some medium adventure stuffs and some medium adventure stuffs. And we found a, a guy named Quip Hunter who has a magic rock. Um, yeah, let's floss hopper. You can go home. You got a shaman. See you later, floss hopper. Bye bye. Don't glitch my game this out. This captive is garbed in peculiar vestments. Yeah, glitch It appears my game quite out. grateful and joins the group. So, all we're gonna do is walk here. 
and do this. Oh, wait. No, that still goes out. There will come a time, hopefully, maybe after a couple updates, it's 1.0.2, that I don't have to do Let this. us resume our tale. And really, I think it's just born from that first glitch where I got too many goblins at once, because otherwise, it would have been the two from the cave, the two raiders that I met, I forget what the other class is, and then the shaman would have made six, which would have been a full party. I think I'm just glitched the game out party-wise. But there's our shaman now. We're fine. We're moving on. Oh, wow. Oh, we got to the tree. Okay. These guys Quietly, are really good at sneaking. The goblins approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Hmm. Mm, probably through this little door right here, I assume. The goblins make their way under the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel. They miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end. Unbeknownst to the goblins, they find themselves intruding into a human-infested establishment hidden beneath the tree. The crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. He turns to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. Oh dang! Boss fight. Or at least a name fight. Innkeeper. Foes may use that as effects like haste to gain advantage. Counter this by inflicting stun or slow. However, be cautious as foes slowly build resistance to effects used on them. Oh, good to know. Okay, well, if you're going second, this guy's going. Oh, he, oh, it tells me what abilities they're going to have. Interesting. He's going to have Wakey Wakey, which. Stun, freeze, or slow. I can't do any of that. So unfortunately, I think I'm just going to go for what damage I can do. Get some bleeding. Oh my gosh, 76. Okay. Well, that seemed unnecessary. Excellent strike. Then lax and we can take him out, please. Oh, One less person to worry you. about. Uh, let's see. We've got him. And then our armored guy. So this guy's going to end up hitting... Oh. Oh, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Try to stun you. Stunned and bleeding. And tired, which is great. Bash you. And then heal the target. 50% chance to slow, which is interesting. Did not spare him. Oh, he hasted him, which got rid of the stun, which sucks. Um, it's not worth it for the kick him out of the fight, basically. Could inflict another bleed, but this also has a chance to inflict bleed, which it did, so I'll take it. 
And then if I can inflict stun, that undoes your haste. It resisted it. So that's six. Oh my goodness. Uh, that should be Cook C, actually. Cook B is dead. <laughs> Very good. He's got his bleeds going on, which is good. Inflict slow on the second and third bows, which is pretty good. <laughs> And then we will chop this guy. Oh, gone. Now, try to get us done if you can. Resisted, darn. Oh, it's because of that armor, too. Oh. Oh, he's got slow though, so Wakey Wakey should get a finale. I really need to get rid of that armor. Because it's really limited on attack abilities. I think Milk Carter is the only one who can get rid of it. chance to sunder yeah so he could get rid of the armor i think it's a good thing to try <coughs> he did not that's okay give an ally haste heal an ally over time 50 percent chance to slow let's go ahead and give this guy haste more chance to sunder the armor perhaps Okay, just to stun him immediately. Sure, sure, sure. We are just gonna kill your cook then. Oh, exceptional skill. Thank you. Uh, we'll go for a bash. Don't do too much. We need to get some more bleeds in there. It's not slowed anymore. Let's try for a. Oh, didn't get a bleed. That's okay. I'd really like for you to stun him. Thank you. That saves some of our less protected folks a little bit of health. He's jumping forward. Want you to break his armor. Get that sun. Oh my goodness. You tried your best. I think you're gonna be okay overall haste a precise go. assault that's what i like to see and then keep him Back there, you can stun him, yeah. Keep him in that high damage zone. Uh, we will go for a bash on you. It's not gonna do much. We'll do an exterminate. There we go. Lata boy. And this guy is stunned, so this ought to hurt him. There we go. That guy's in the high damage zone. Let's try to stun him and keep him there. <clears throat> Perfect. And that will allow for this guy to do the same exact thing. There we go. Perfect. What goblin strategy. Hyping everyone up. Oh man, we got a 
large red gem, two little red gems, a tiny blue gem, and a ham hammer for raiders and hunters. Ten power, deal 100 to 125 percent chance of a 50 percent chance to sunder, and two empty slots that I assume we can enchant or something later. Anything else to do in here? Our inventory is so so full. Oh, because we split paths. I guess, yeah. I don't know if we can go back to uh, redo that level and sort of explore our unexplored paths or not. We'll find out. The goblins descend through an old garbage chute as their eyes adjust to the darkness. An uncanny landscape of endless human refuse reveals itself. Each goblin layer begins with the Ancestor's Hall, the sacred dwelling place for souls of ancestral goblins. The strength of the layer will depend on the souls of its deceased. Recalling what the stone has told them, they come to the realization that beneath all the filth lies what they seek. Stone in hand, they gingerly place it atop the edifice. Suddenly, as if disturbed from a great slumber, Violent waves erupt, filling the cavern with relentless energy. Mounds of human waste are swept aside by the vindictive force revealing the great goblin lair, previously thought to have been lost to antiquity. Oh. The goblin lair. Oh my gosh. Got some stone, got some ore, got some wood, got some bone. Okay. With the goblin stone in place, the lair can be rebuilt. Begin by building, by wheedling a war room. Claim all items before starting your next adventure. Remove them forever. Oh, a larder is needed. Okay. Well, wow, this is a big screen. I kind of wish you could go a little bit faster around it. Surface empty chamber. So let's just build a war room here. It's the only chamber we have. These are the ruins of a once great war room where ancient goblins plotted their grand adventures and expeditions. Rebuild it and unlock the endless adventures that await in the vast world beyond. Completed. We got leather, fiber, ore. Nice. This is where the adventuring party gathers, ready to be equipped and outfitted for the challenges ahead. Once you're all set, select the map to embark on your adventure. The team will assemble here. Many expeditions await them. Build a campground to recruit goblins as well as a larder and armory to store items. Okay. I don't want to go to the map, please. I want to go elsewhere. Thank you. Let me zoom out, for goodness sakes. The surface of the lair features a large sprawling area. It's a perfect place to set up a campground to attract traveling visitors. Perhaps other goblins in the area might take notice of this new lair. Build that. 
Wandering goblins gather here to squat on your land and marvel at the lair. Many seek admittance. Recruit a few of them to create an adventuring party. Foreign goblins and merchants congregate on these grounds. Bin bopper, pulp wonder, and sage jitter. Prospects loiter about, eager for admittance. Every goblin comes with a unique genetic code, generating genetic traits that modify stats and abilities. Each goblin can have up to four traits, but only two can be active at a time. Rescuing goblin captives can unlock new genetic traits for breeding. The more captives you save, the closer you get to collecting them all. As you progress, you will discover more powerful traits. Okay, it's got brute, body plus two, mind minus three, peon additional plus two to inventory size, creatures, sand skin, small nose, lean, curved ears, lively mouth, sly eyes. Interesting. Uh huh. Oh, so body six, mind two, four, sixty-four, five, thirty-four. Four, five, three, five, one, twenty-six. He's alert. Armor or magic armor increased by one. He's got pickle skin, huge nose, very lean, straight ears, dippy mouth, calm eyes. And Bidden Bopper is flabby, life plus six, and power minus three, and religious, spirit plus two, but body minus three. Interesting. I don't see any reason why I would not recruit all of these Only boys. the keen and eager are welcome. Oh, okay. How best to sort the distinguished from the disappointing. We now got 11 out of 10 goblins. So we need to build a larder and an armory. Let's go ahead and build the larder here. And then, oh, that's a armory item. So let's build the armory here. Yeah. All right, we did it. Restore the layer. Welcome to your cache of weapons. Equip them via a goblin's character sheet or directly from here. To arm your goblin, left click on a weapon. Weapons, both mundane and magical, will find their way here. Milk Carter, you have a rock on a stick, you have a chisel stick. Pawn batter sounds like someone who'd have a big old ham as a weapon. We'll give that to you for now. And then larder. Larger serves as a dedicated storage room for treasure and materials used for construction. Right click on any item in the larder to access and view the available options for that. Item. Ample room for the magnificent spoils that await. Uh, okay, gotcha. So there's no items for that. Just split or cancel. Oh, I guess we're at our limit for bones and junk. So how do you upgrade a room? Oh, we can upgrade this one. Can we? Not enough souls in population. I don't know about the population part, but whatever. Seems to be sort of a glitched part of my game. So we do have a quest up here. Explore all of Merry Foothills. All right. Well, I'm hoping that if I save here, just quit here, then we come back, it'll all be copacetic. 
less glitchies. Or we just kick someone out. I don't want to do that. I don't even know if I can do that. But it seems like a pretty fun game. The glitches aside, um, at least they're easily fixable by either just exiting out real quick and jumping back in. And that doesn't take too long. But yeah, I'll probably play again soon. It's been a couple hours now for me and I'm kind of hungry. So I'm going to go do that instead. Have a good day. Bye.